Hello Chikyogi, today's session is for a healthy spine, strong back and open hips. It's quite energizing so I recommend to do it in the morning or in the afternoon, not necessarily before going to bed because you might have problems to fall asleep. Please start standing. Close your eyes, go around your feet, activate your legs, activate your belly and feel your body, feel where your body is at today. With an inhale, lift your hands up to the sky. With an exhale, bring them down, let them hang loosely. One more time, inhale, hands up, exhale down, let them swing. Now inhale, hands up to the sky, exhale, bend your knees, forward fold, soften your neck, soften your face, swing from one side to another. Inhale, slowly roll up, hands up, exhale, hands down to your chest. Inhale, hands up, exhale, bend your knees, forward fold, relax your face, relax your neck. Inhale, halfway up, straight back, hands above your knees. Straighten one leg, then another, and repeat. Now stop, and if available to you, keep your legs straight. If not, keep them bent, spine straight and long, ears away from the shoulders. If that's available to you, on the next exhale, Deepen your fold and move your hands below your knees. If you want to, keep going deeper with every exhale. Maybe even put your hands on the ground. But wherever you are, stay connected to your breath. Now with the next inhale, bend your knees and slowly lift up. Hands up. Exhale, hands to your chest. Inhale, hands up, grab your left wrist and stretch to the right, ground your left foot. Inhale, back to the center, exhale, repeat on the other side. Remember to ground your right foot. Inhale, back to center, exhale, drop into chair pose. Lean into your heels, not into your toes. Tuck your tailbone, shoulder blades together and down, so shoulders away from your ears. If you like to work your legs and bum, drop even lower. And finally, drop even lower into kind of introverted child pose and swing back and forth. On the inhale, slowly roll up, hands up, and on exhale, back into chair pose. This pose comes very useful when you use public toilets. Take an inhale and on exhale, twist to your left. Try to join your elbow with your knee. The next exhale, bring your right hand to the ground or onto a block or a book and left hand up to the sky. You can look up in front of you or down to the ground. Exhale, untwist. Inhale, come up to standing. Exhale, go around your feet. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, chair pose. Inhale, find your position. Exhale, twist to the right. On the next Exhale, put your left hand on the ground or on the book, right one up to the sky. Exhale, untwist, inhale, come up to standing and shake it off, shake off your legs. Now bring your right knee to your belly and make circles with your ankle, with your foot. Next, if available to you, let your hands go. And if you want extra challenge, straighten out your leg, 
This move works on your balance, but also on your quads, your glutes and your core. Bring your right leg down and repeat on the other side, left knee to your belly, move your foot. Now one level up, let go of your hands. An extra challenge, straight leg. Don't lean back, keep your body in one vertical line. Exhale, relax, good job. Next one, to repose. Stand on your left leg and bring your right foot underneath your knee. If possible, Keep your hips open, meaning your right knee is in one line with your hips with your left knee. Find one steady point in front of you, maybe on the floor. Find your balance. If that feels comfortable, try bringing your foot above your knee. Please remember, never foot on the knee, either underneath or above. For extra challenge, bring your hands up. If that still feels really easy, I challenge you to close your eyes and keep your balance. I guarantee it's a game changer. On the exhale, bring your hands down, bend your left leg and bring your right foot, right ankle above your left knee. Keep your foot flexed to protect your knee and make standing figure four or half chair pose. If that's not available, just stay in tree pose, it's okay. Find a steady spot on the ground, find your balance, reconnect with your breath. On the exhale, release, inhale, come up. Stand on your right leg and bring your left foot underneath your knee. Remember to keep your hip as open as possible. If that feels good, maybe put your foot above your knee. For extra challenge, bring your hands up or maybe even close your eyes. Reconnect with your breath, reconnect with your body, feel as if you were a bridge between the sky and the earth. On the next exhale, hands down, bend your knee, stand in figure four, remember to flex your left foot. Inhale, hands up, reconnect with your balance. Exhale, release, inhale, come up to standing and just move freely, move to release the tension. Now reassemble, inhale, hands up, exhale, halfway down, straight back, legs straight or bent, deepen on the exhale and on inhale move into plank pose, find your position, tug your tailbone, active belly, don't collapse in between your shoulder blades, so spine up and smile. Now exhale, child pose, let's chill for a second. Inhale, back into plank pose, find your position and now five times, left knee to left elbow, go, you've got this. Repeat on the other side five times. Don't collapse in between your shoulders. Don't collapse in your lower back. Now exhale, child pose. Good job. It might not be easy, but it's worth it. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, downward facing dog with knees bent. Pedal your feet, stretch your torso. Find your position, legs straight or bent. Take a deep inhale and on exhale, drop into yogic squat or malasana. Elbows and knees together, elbows push outwards, knees push inwards, 
used as leverage to keep your spine tall and reach up to the sky. If your heels are not touching the ground, you can roll your blanket or your mat and put underneath your heels or grab your blocks, your books and sit on them. On the next exhale, twist to the left, right hand on the floor, left hand up to the sky. Inhale, reach higher, exhale, back to neutral. Inhale, toe spine, exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, toe spine, exhale, back to neutral. Inhale, toe spine, exhale, drop and sit. Left knee on the floor, left foot close to your hip, right foot goes on the floor above your left knee, right next to your left thigh. Inhale, toe spine, left hand up, exhale, twist to the right and hook your left hand on your right leg. This pose is called half lord of the fishes and can really help your spine and your hips. Inhale, toe spine, exhale, untwist and change your legs. Inhale, toe spine, exhale, twist to the left. Keep your right foot flexed to protect your knee and reconnect with your breath. Inhale, toe spine, exhale, untwist and come to standard cross-legged pose. Inhale, toe spine, exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, nice and tall, exhale, untwist. Inhale, nice and tall, exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, nice and tall, exhale, untwist. Switch your legs and repeat on both sides. Now a few seated cat and cows. Inhale, bend forward, exhale, arch back. Now make circles with your torso one way and another. And now finally, the well-deserved Savasana. Please lie down. Drop into your body, drop into the ground. Soften your face, soften your jaws, your shoulders, your belly, your legs. Let yourself be. It's time to come back. Please bend your knees and slowly bring them to your chest. Whenever ready, roll to your side and slowly come up to seated position. Great job and thank you for showing up for yourself. See you next time.